Welcome everyone. Today I am on Johnston Terrace and making my way down Johnston Terrace we shall be talking about the castle. Now in 1314 Robert the Bruce was consolidating his forces in Scotland and basically taking back English strongholds which included castles and fortified houses. Now, Sir Thomas Randolph was given the task to take Edinburgh Castle back from the English. Now, there was one fundamental problem. Sir Thomas Randolph didn't have any siege equipment that was able to penetrate the castle's walls and fortifications. He couldn't storm the castle due to its position on the hill and due to the fact that there is a gap between the castle esplanade and the castle itself, which is gained by a drawbridge which was closed against him. He couldn't really poison the wells of the castle due to the main well actually being inside the castle. So taking it back was one huge headache. Now, there was many a way that he may have tried, such as climbing the castle rock. But again, how do you get up the rock and how do you actually get over the walls of the castle? without being hit and shot at from the defenders. So one day, while mulling over exactly what they are going to do to attack the castle, a gentleman by the name of William Francis, who was once stationed within the castle itself, came to their encampment. And he told them that there was a secret passage that led all the way from the bottom of the rocks all the way up the side to a lower part of the wall where they could easily climb over and into the castle itself. Now he said he knew this very well due to the fact that he would actually leave the castle climb all the way down this pathway to what is now known as the grass market below to reach his girlfriend and he would often do this late at night and he would often climb back up into the castle before it was noted that he had actually left. Sir Thomas Randolph jumped at the chance. Now it was late March and it was still dark predominantly. So they decided to choose 30 men and William Francis would actually lead them up the pathway to the wall, climb over the wall as long as they had ladders with them and into the castle. Now this wall was not guarded due to the sheerness of the actual rock face itself. So they set off. Now this pathway was so narrow that even a cat would think twice about walking along it. Yet there was 30 men climbing up the side of the rock face. Now at this moment in time, historians are not 100% sure which side of the castle this climb took place. And when you look at the castle itself, most notably the rock face up to it, as you can see here, then, well, yeah, trying to decide how to climb up there is a great difficulty. But they did make it to the walls of the castle. Once they got there, the wall was only about 10 feet high. They placed the ladders against the wall and climbed over there. First went Sir first went William Francis. He climbed over. And next came Sir Thomas Randolph and the following one was Sir Grey. And then the rest of the men made their way over the wall and into the castle itself. 
The English were taken totally by surprise. Some of them had not even managed to get out of their beds before they were actually routed and killed. The ones that did survive were taken prisoner. Then something very strange happened. Instead of keeping the castle intact and defending it as part of Robert de Bruce's plans to hold Scotland, they actually dismantled the castle. They took all the fortifications away. They removed all the doors from the castle itself. They removed all the windows. Now, very strange indeed. Thank you.